Hey tubers, we're going to talk about how to test for ignition spark. If you have a no start in your vehicle for one reason or another, the first thing you always want to do if something is not working correctly is check to make sure that you do not have a blown fuse. You also want to check to make sure that you have a strong, well-connected battery. Then you want to check to make sure you don't have bad spark plug wires and plugs. You want to make sure that you do not have a bad ignition coil. You want to make sure that you do not have a bad ignition coil pack. This is not a coil pack. A coil pack is like a square item and all of your spark plug wires will connect into it. If you own a truck of some sort that has a distributor, you want to check to make sure that you do not have a faulty distributor and or bad rotor or broken distributor and rotor cap as that is the most common reasons for why trucks do not start, okay? For those of you who are going to ask me, how come I didn't go out to the vehicle to show you this stuff? This is really simple and easy to do, guys. Follow the simple step-by-step -step instructions. This tester is sold at Harbor Freight for about four or five bucks. Easy, simple, and extremely safe to use, okay? And for those of you who have ignition coils and your spark plug is deep down in a tube, this tool will not help you. So on Amazon, they sell a inline spark plug tester, and I believe it's made by SG Tools, part number 23970, cost about 25 bucks or so. So check it out. It's just like this. It comes with an adapter so that you can stick it down into a deep spark plug tube to perform this particular test. For those of you that have ignition coils, and let's say you want to verify that your ignition coil is functioning correctly, meaning that you suspect that you may have a misfire. Well, it could be a faulty ignition coil. So how do you test for that, guys? What you do is start the vehicle, let it run, and what you're going to do is listen and or feel the misfire. So disconnect the electrical connector. If the engine runs much better, with this thing disconnected, then you have a problem with the ignition coil and it should be replaced as needed. Plug the ignition coil's electrical connector back in. If the motor starts to idle rough or starts skipping and misfiring again, you know for a fact that this ignition coil is faulty and should be replaced. For those of you who are wondering how to test if you have a bad fuel pump, again, always check to make sure you don't have a blown fuse. But to test your fuel pump, what you want to do or to test if your fuel pump is working, have someone put the key in the ignition and turn the key to the run position. That's where all the lights light up on your vehicle. And you want to go to the back of the vehicle or sit in the back seat and listen. You should hear the fuel pump priming. That means that your fuel pump is working for the most part, and that's not your problem. That's the most effective way to test to make sure that your fuel pump is working. So let's jump right into it, guys. Again, easy, simple, and very safe to use. What you want to do is take this tester, start with one spark plug wire, remove it, put the connector down into the spark plug wire, make sure it's connected, Go back to where you remove that wire while the spark plug is in the motor. Take this tester tube, put it over the spark plug, make sure it connects correctly. Have someone crank the motor, and what you're going to see in this tube is, while that's happening, electricity will come around and light up this area right here. And when you start the vehicle, this will start blinking, guys. And then you know that you have spark at that particular spark plug. You want to repeat this process for the remaining spark plugs. Okay, very simple, easy, and effective way of checking and most inexpensive way of checking for ignition spark in your vehicle. So, again, just remember, if you have an ignition coil and your spark plug is deep down in a hole, go to Amazon and look up that inline spark tester made by SG Tools, part number 23970. And again, it comes with its own long adapter like this. It looks just like this particular tool or tester, but it comes with an adapter so that you can put it down in your tube 
and test for ignition spark. So that's it, guys. I can't think of anything else that I have left out. Bad spark plug wires, bad plugs, bad, oh, I'm sorry, bad ignition coil, bad ignition coil pack. If you have a truck, you want to check to make sure you don't have a bad distributor, a bad rotor or rotor cap. And again, those rotor caps can break. And that's a common reason for why most trucks won't start. And again, I can't think of anything else that I've left out um, with respect to this. And then just make sure you always check fuses, guys. Very important. A lot of times folks will reach out to me and say, this doesn't work, that doesn't work. And then when I ask them to check to see if they have a blown fuse, voila, they realize that, oh, it's a blown fuse. They replace the fuse and the problem solved. Take care, guys, and thanks for watching and catch you next time.